six-inch moon that was to have been America's first Earth satellite and a Vanguard rocket that was to have sent it on its globe-circling career from Cape Canaveral in Florida. A moment or two of high expectation after the firing button has been pressed. Fuel leak there in the first section of the three-stage rocket. Disaster follows as this official film shows only too clearly. Fire followed the explosion. The launching of an American moon had still to be accomplished. A big setback indeed, but probably more so in the realm of prestige and propaganda than in any other way. Over to London Airport now, where Britain's Minister of Defence, Mr Duncan Sands, was present to greet his American opposite number, Mr Neil McElroy. He was stopping off in Britain on his way to the NATO meeting in Paris. We asked him to comment on the failure of the vanguard. My comment would be that it cannot, uh, cannot be construed as anything but uh, regrettable and disappointing. But uh, I, I would say to uh, many of our scientists, it's not surprising that on the first attempt of something as highly technical as this, that you should have a failure. Now we are pressing forward, of course, for a succession, a successor shot.